Hello again. Here we are for the 8K um, height map, part of the free height map tutorial series. Again, I have just set myself up, um, named and saved a level, a new scene, new level for the purpose of this height map resolution. So we're going to jump straight in. We're going to go into landscape mode. I'm going to reset these settings from the previous one and we are going to set it up ready for 8k and what we're going to do here is we are going to do our uh, quad sections is actually going to change this time to 127 by 127 we're going to go for a 2x2 two two. and then in the number of components we will change that to 32 by 32. Now this will be our epic recommended setup for this and basically we are again getting this 1k setting for our total component value which is going to be the most important thing to keep your eye on when you're doing well one of them this is the you know the final thing to look at to know that you're doing the right thing. Again, I assume we're going to get the incorrect um, region set up, the bug. Um, with this one, I'm going to change it to, uh, let's say, 4. And then with this, it should, in theory, give us, uh, you know, it should be the same because we've got the 2x2 two two sections. Um, uh, 32 components sorry so the total number of components is the same as the 4k setup so this in theory should be the exact same and I assume we're going to get the same bug the thing I'm going to change on this is just the height of the Z to 300 just so that it's already got height in there when I put the height map in um, manually afterwards so I'm just going to hit create so everything with this everything is fine as you know the only issue is the regions not usually placing in the right positions and the right scales so I am going to do all that manually again just to run through it how you can do it it's basically just selecting them and scaling them uh, which I showed in the previous video as well and in the marketplace asset this will all be done for you so you won't have to worry about it but um, obviously if you're doing this yourself then you've got to do all of that manual work yourself but it's not very much effort a couple of minutes almost there and we're there and again same bug um, you know I'm pretty I'm pretty certain that I'm doing this correctly as far as the setup is concerned so I am you know not too sure what to suggest other than change the scale of them now I'm probably doing something wrong in the setup um, but I just don't think I am uh, with this, it makes it easier if we load everything. So I'm just loading all of the tiles. I am zooming out. I'm selecting the landscape region that I want to copy. I am changing it to, I think I'm going to try 4000 by 4000 this time. Basically double what I did in the previous lining it up across the proxies duplicating it okay now I'm getting some strange issue where I can't see my cursor mm, it's pretty annoying actually another issue to add to the list so there we go now we have our regions 
covering our proxies. So now that we've got that, I'm going to unload this and I'm going to load the selected regions. I bet it just does one. I don't know why it keeps doing this to me. If you select them individually, it seems to work now. Um, then we go back into our landscape mode, manage, import, select our 8K height map, say no to the tiled because it isn't a tiled one, I don't know why it keeps doing that, and hit import. And then because I previously set the Z to 300, we should have height already. I'm just going to lower the height fog. Obviously, actually, 300 probably isn't enough because it's quite a large landscape. So I'm going to choose 600, double the height. Obviously, these values, um, I'm just doing random ones. I'm, I'm not basing it on the actual height that you would need uh, you know if you want something more specific then you would obviously have to do those calculations which I go through in my 30 kilometer height map video um, on my channel which you can check out if you want to know how to do the accurate calculations um, I'm just going to do something like crazy. I'm going to do 1000 just because I want some nice details here. Maybe I've crashed it. Nope, I haven't. But I sunk it down nice and low. There we go. We have our mountainous terrain. And that is it. Again, that is basically the gist of it. We have our lovely shadows. Let's put it to this kind of way. There we go. You get the picture. But there you go. There's a 8K height map import with Epic's recommended settings and this will all be available in the Google Drive where I provide the height maps for free for you to follow along setting it up like I've done or I've also added a marketplace asset on the cheapest setting um, for this project uh, or a variant of this project which will have all of these maps set up as I explained in the first video. So I hope this helps and I will then, you know, add some more height maps to the project uh, as we go. And yeah, hopefully that's uh, helpful to you as I said. And if you have any questions, you can jump into the Discord and uh, hopefully I can help you f further. And yeah, good luck with this and see you for the next one. Please also remember that if you want to talk with me directly, you can jump into the Tecastus public server, which will be linked in the description. Uh, and also, if you could please jump over and follow the Tecastus Studios YouTube channel, that would also be uh, greatly appreciated so that you can keep up to date with the other project. I'll be going deep into pretty soon and I'm sure you'll love it.